Hello everyone and welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I make makeup videos using cruelty free makeup, sometimes fashion videos. So if you would like to see my content then carry on watching, make sure you like and subscribe. And yeah, we're just going to do this look and play with some makeup, so keep on So I thought I would just, you know, address my absence. I haven't uploaded a video since way before my birthday. I'm 21 now, I know I still look about 12, but... I did have a video filmed, um, I'm going to be doing my eyebrows <laughs> whilst I tell you about this. I did have a video filmed, it was me answering assumptions and questions um, whilst dyeing my hair neon pink. And as you can see, my hair is no longer neon pink, that is how long ago I filmed that video. I have honestly been so uninspired, but also I just felt like uploading that video at that time was just so inappropriate and just editing that video and f like doing all of that with that video at the time felt like such a trivial kind of like way to spend my time when I could have been you know sharing signing petitions and like educating myself on obviously the Black Lives Matter movement and if you follow me on Instagram you'll know I've spoken about it and I've shared quite a few things and I've not really posted much of my own content. It's now the 15th of June and I haven't even put on makeup since the 23rd of May which was the day after my birthday and to be honest it just felt wrong to be spending my time that way when I could have been educating myself or you know educating others and trying to do everything I can because I don't know if you saw you probably did um, police brutality racism just systematic racism towards black people and people of color especially in America but globally is just absolutely disgusting and I just felt wrong talking about makeup and fashion and that kind of thing because it just felt so trivial to me that all of this was going on and I was sat here dyeing my hair and saying whether I was popular or not. Um, so yeah, that is why I've not uploaded in a while because it is 2020 and the fact that people are judged and murdered and just, you know, horrible horrible things happen to people purely based on the colour of their skin in 2020. My Mitchell palette here which I woke up this morning to information on the Little Sexy Sausages group that it has been discontinued. Um, it is a gorgeous, I'm very glad I got it when I did, it's just, it's absolutely stunning like these are the colours see it's absolutely gorgeous I think he's coming out with his own makeup brand I think that's why he's discontinued it but I mean I was very shocked I also have Amrisi highlighter dupe that was 5 .99. and I mean look at that that's... so I have a lot of palettes but I think I'm gonna go with my Mitchell palette just because I this is the one that I've wanted for the longest and it does have the most like pinky tones on this side but then I might also use some of these like cool like purples and greens I don't know I'm just gonna play I've not put makeup on in almost a month now any makeup not even like a little bit of mascara um, it's been a bit of a joke but alas we are here I'm going to go and prime my eyes put my brows on and then we'll get into doing the makeup right so I have my eyes primed of course with my P. Louise base what else would I use I know it's been a while but I'm still on my P. Louise base hype uh, so I'm going to start by going in with these pinks I'm thinking I'm thinking mainly using this side of the palette because as you can see by my walls and my outfit and the fact I just had neon pink hair I really like the colour pink so I'm going to start by going in with the shade mini which is this one here I've only used one shade out of this palette um, so I'm going to start by packing this through my crease with my eye facing straight forwards because as you can see I actually have hooded eyes so if I do this I'm just going to like, you know, sketch out the shape that I want first you can see I've got hooded eyes because of all this situation 
Um, so I'm going to like sketch it out first. So I've got my shape. I'm going to go for a rounded shape I think today. Also, this eye is really, really watery at the moment because hay fever is just doing a number on me. So I apologise if this eye gets messed up because it's not doing well. By the way, these are really pigmented. I'm very, very lightly tapping and using very, very light pressure. So yeah, I'm just starting to use little circular motions now to blend the very, very edges to the inner corner. I'm going to go in with this brush by Jessup. This is the 228 Luxe Crease. Crease? <laughs> Crease. And I'm going to go in with the shade Milkshake, which is the kind of like baby pink. And I'm just going to start feathering this along the edges of that colour to start to build my blend. It doesn't have to be the most perfect. We're just, you know, putting all the colours down to begin with. And then we will... You know, go back in with all the colours later. I like to hold my brush right at the end so that it's really, really light and I can get really nice like, little feathery circular motions going. Alright, so I just went in with Milkshake, which is this one here. I'm going to go in with Morning Glory, which is the neon pink. This is the colour that my hair was the other day. And I'm just taking it on like a small little domed brush. And I'm just going to sandwich this colour like in between the two pinks just to help to create that blend. I'm just doing really, really tiny little circles just around the edge of the dark pink because whenever I apply a pastel it kind of like creates a harsh line so you just need to go in with like an in-between shade. I'm also definitely just winging this look, I have no idea where this is actually going or what direction we're moving in but you know, it's moving in a direction so that's good by me. And then going in with a bit of blank canvas paint by P. Louise. Uh, this is my favourite thing to cut the crease. I just find it's it's like a thicker consistency than the base. Um, it's more opaque. Um, I just find it easier to work with. And yeah, I've just put a bit on the back of my hand and I'm using a Jessup 312 Detail Liner. This is a really tiny angled brush. And again, as I did at the start, I'm just going to look forwards with my eye open and sketch above my crease so that I can definitely see the line. I just realised this is a Mitchell product as well. If you didn't know, I'm from Manchester and both Mitchell and P. Louise are from Manchester also. So I, re I, do, I do like, you know, supporting local successful and like smaller artists and businesses. I'm then just going to go in diagonally, kind of, with these different pink shades, starting from Mini, going to Morning Glory. I'm going to go in with one of these kind of like bluey, greeny, reflective colours. I'm thinking marine or minty. Like, one of them reflects green and one of them reflects blue. I haven't actually swatched them yet, so... Minty is less chunky, marine's quite chunky. Um, I'm thinking I might go with marine, it looks quite cool. Because it is quite chunky, I'm actually going to put down the NYX Pigment Primer first. I'm just going to take a bit on the back of my hand. I've never used this before, but I won a NYX giveaway. And I have so much NYX makeup in my drawers. This is just like gonna make it a bit more sticky because obviously the paints are made to dry down. Yeah, this is a really crumbly eyeshadow. Like in the pan, it's really, really crumbly, but it's fine as long as it sticks. I don't really care what it does in the pan as long as it doesn't break. It's really pretty though. Okay, so as you can see, I have got my cut crease on. I used the shade Marine. It looks it looks, it works really really well wet, I really don't think you can see because when is my camera ever going to show you nice pretty eyeshadow unless it's in a photograph. If you would like to see better shots of my makeup please follow my Instagram because I managed to get nicer shots. So I don't really know where I'm going from here 
But I know I want to use this paint as like an eyeliner. This is the Acid Rain Ecstasy paint. It's like a deep purple. I want to do like a really thick purple line. Maybe add some of this glitter because it kind of matches the glitter on my nails. It's little like purple butterflies. And I've got little butterflies on my nails right now. As you can see. This one's, oh sorry. This one's really wonky but we're just going to ignore it. Because I kind of want to use this colour here called Mega because it just it looks really really pretty so i'm thinking that i'm going to use this as a bit of a wing kind of thing okay so this is where we are so far i think i like it but i don't know like you know when you've not done makeup for so long you don't actually know if it actually looks good i have no idea so I'm going to put lashes and mascara on and I'm going to put the rest of my face on and then I'm going to come back and see what I think about it and see if I want to add a shimmer to the liner and add glitter or if I just want to leave it like this because I'm, I'm kind of feeling leaving it like this but then I feel like that's kind of boring and easy. So I obviously don't have lashes on yet but I've just spritzed my face to like, you know, melt down all the powders um, and I'm going to go in with this highlighter. Um, again, I saw Make Me Up Missy use it and... I mean, can you, that is a dupe, you can't tell me that's not a dupe for the ABH Amorese highlighter that is possibly one of the most sought after highlighters ever and is also discontinued, which I don't really understand, they'd make so much money if they brought it back. But yeah, it is absolutely gorgeous, I got this in shade 2, it's so stunning. Uh, so I'm going to try this on my cheeks. Whoa. That is, that is so pretty. It doesn't leave a cast on my face because I am a bit more tanned at the moment. But I'm not like super tanned. That is, that is gorgeous. It doesn't look like chunky or anything on the skin. It just looks glowy. So yeah, this is the finished look. I might add some glitter for Instagram, but I'm not sure. Um, I really, I feel like Barbie with these colours, I don't know why, but if you did enjoy this then make sure you like and subscribe, I'll be back with more makeup content and be more lively and upbeat once I get into the swing of it, and yeah, I'll see you all in my next video, which is hopefully my Depop haul, which I've been promising for way too long now, but yeah, bye.